Guys, this is embarrassing, <laughs> but it actually happened. You are not gonna tell us. <laughs> Through... <laughs> Okay, you guys, you've been asking for this for a very long time. You want to hear the engagement story. We thought rather than just telling you the engagement story, we're going to show you the engagement story. We are going to recreate the entire thing from start to finish for you guys, step by step. So here's what went down. For our anniversary, this is something we wanted to do very special because the day you guys are watching this, we're going to release this on our anniversary. 13 years of marriage, just wedded bliss every <laughs> second. Zero disagreements, no arguments. It's been a breeze, guys. It's been <laughs> Since a breeze. the day we met. Kind of strange, it all went down and all started right here. So Mindy used to work at this salon called Color My Nail. I just color my nails, you guys. I worked here for like 10 years ish. I did nails here every single day. But this what, is where her nail this, journey began. On this one particular day, which happened to be January 10th. One year to the day that we very first laid eyes on each other. There was some significance to that. 2006. I was just sitting here having a normal day at work, and I had this particular <laughs> client that was really persistent about coming and getting her nails done at, at a, certain a very time. certain time. The timing was key. That person was Brandon's mom. Yes. And I was so confused why she'd want to come at a certain time. That's because she had a plan. She came in, sat down at my chair, and says, I'm just here for my manicure. Oh, dang, I forgot my purse. Let me go grab my purse. She runs out to the car and walks in with a rose. A rose. Now, this is the first of 12 roses Mindy would receive this day, and attached to each rose was a clue guiding her through a tour <laughs> of our dating life. So each spot was a significant spot to us while we dated. There's going to be some really weird stops along the way, some that make <laughs> no sense, but they were significant but to they us. they were significant. <laughs> they were memorable. It's so the really very fun. first one was my mom coming to get her nails done. Now, if you guys know anything about Mindy, you know she's a scheduler. Oh, Back then when scheduler. I met her, her biggest thing was her nail client schedule, her books. So she could not wrap her head around the fact that the rest of her day had been wiped out because I had reached out to each of her clients and wiped out her day for the rest of the day so that she could have the day clear. She was like, wait, I don't get it. I have somebody right after you and then somebody right after you. And she said, <gasps> no. Nope. It's completely cleared out. Take this CD, take this clue, <laughs> and I made a little mixtape for her to listen to a song in between each stop and let the journey begin. So it all started here. Rose number one sent her off on her first clue, which was to... Hey. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> I think I have Chick-fil-A in my teeth. The next stop was here at Dillard's. At Dillard's. This you is guys, where I worked. Brandon used to work at Dillard's, and the very first time he came to see me was at my job, and so I then came to see him outside of school. Was it his job? He didn't know I was coming, and I walked up on him, and he was... Checking myself out in the mirror. Checking himself out in the mirror, and I was like, oh... Heavens. What, what have, have I, I got, got myself, myself into? into? I worked in the tie department. They had an entire department. It was like men's dress wear, but men's it was wear. mostly just ties. They had a full counter of ties. So I sold ties. That's what I did when he we sold met. ties. We came here. This was very significant to us because this is where I worked. Started off where she worked. And then our next stop after the next school. So there's someone standing, actually. This is what's funny. Someone's standing by the mirror with the rose because the significance so at, was the hilarity of the At every of single yourself. stop that I came to, there is a person standing here, a sibling, a parent, a brother, someone a sister. In our families. Yeah. Holding a rose with a letter where to go on the next and stop. And that clue would tell her where to go. So so she'd get back in the car, put on the mixtape, and head out to her next stop. So guys, after this, she got her clue, and we headed off to? To this place. <laughs> uh, you guys. Walmart. This is funny, but we have hundreds of pictures of us, and I wish they were even in digital form to show you, but we have so many pictures of us hanging out at Walmart. Guys. We would come and just walk around the store, kind of have a date. We had no money, so this is how we entertain ourselves. You gotta ourselves. think, young, poor kids with no money, <laughs> but we wanna hang out and go out all the time, so what do you do? You walk the aisles of Walmart. We didn't hang even out. shop. We didn't buy anything. We just walked around it, I really I think. don't ever remember buying stuff. <laughs> we just walked around and hung out so at Walmart. It was so random. Who does that? <laughs> Super random, but had someone here with a rose with the next clue to the next significant part in our dating life, which was this place. Now, it wasn't an empty parking lot. It was actually a five-buck pizza right Where over there. sushi place is used to be a five-buck pizza. We loved coming here because Brandon's sister worked here. Michelle, while, you guys know Michelle. While we loved their pizza, she would make us Cinestix and she would just put on so much frosting that we loved it. Think about having an inside person at a pizza joint where they make Cinestix sticks and just loading the frosting. So this was like our staple date. We'd grab some five buck pizza, we'd grab a dessert. Bucks. It was only five bucks. And of course at the time, definitely had no money. So that we was a great date. We were in college date. and had zero money. So this was an awesome stop. Obviously we had enough of it that I put it on the 12 spots that we stopped at. So we must have had a lot of pizza. But guys, this is the first of a few things that we've seen on our list that are no longer there. It's kind of cool to see time pass. Businesses change it hands, new changed. things come in and out. We didn't actually stop at a Blockbuster on this tour, but that would have been one that would have been <laughs> that gone. Been good. Five buck pizza no longer here. And we had someone standing here with a rose that read a new clue leading us to here, here. you guys. We came to Thanksgiving Point Gardens. We went here all the time. There's plenty of paths to walk around. It's absolutely beautiful. It 
gave us opportunity to talk and, and I think get it's to totally know each free, other. Right? We would just walk around. Yeah, we'd always walk it around the free part. There's a special bench here where we like to make out. I'm just oh gonna God. throw that out there. There's a little bit of a make out spot for us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it was fun though. We always come and there was beautiful, huge moon, and we just sit and talk on the grass, and it was like a place where we got to know each other. So we'd really stay awesome. out pretty late, which was kind of fun. Very cool Thanksgiving point at the gardens. Someone sitting here on a bench with the rose. Yes. And a clue. Yes. That led us to here. You guys, this is yet another location that is not here anymore, yep. which is strange. So this used to be a gas station, which now they've flattened, obviously, and put a bunch of other things. Guys, honestly, around here was nothing when we were dating. And look at this. Oh, it was nothing. We've got full office structures. We've got parking structures. We've got freeway revitalization projects going on. <laughs> this was literally nothing except a little mini, like I think Chevron with an Arctic Circle, some gas it station. It had an iceberg in it. Oh, iceberg. And a yes. gas station. We'd always come and get frazzles is what we call them. Yeah, we'd get frazzled and, together. Um, <laughs> anyways, it was a place we loved to come. It was down by Thanksgiving point. We used to hang out a lot at. So apparently we went to the gas station and Walmart and really strange Guys, places. Guys, we had an Walmart. epic dating life. But nevertheless, someone was standing here with a rose. But the clue that took us to the next place, which is... This abandoned warehouse. No. Okay, no. You it's guys, not. there used to be a 7-Eleven here and we would come here all the time and get hot cocos and we put different flavorings in them with those little old marshmallows that have been yeah, sitting there for the forever. stale little they marshmallows. Our favorite. But every single time it was a cold night, it was a very cheap and fun thing to go grab a hot chocolate with a ton of flavor mix-ins and this is the 7-Eleven that we would always go to because it's very near her parents' and house. And would get so many flavors in the weirdest combination. It would definitely gross you out and I was really grateful that you ended up still marrying me. I did combine like caramel with an extra chocolate and a vanilla and ooh, Irish cream. Let's try that. If they were open, I'd get a hot chocolate right now. <laughs> I would too. It's pretty cold out. This was a 7-Eleven. It is now shut down. Nothing here. And then there was someone standing here, yes, in front of a 7-Eleven with a rose and another clue leading us off to my parents' house. This was always a funny one because it was on this very doorstep that we hung out all the time and my mom, I remember one time I came in, she's like, has he kissed you yet? And I was like, no. What is wrong with him? Why it took me a while, you guys. It literally took me a while to build up the courage for that one. Also, this same doorstep is where I would come to the door to <laughs> pick Mindy up or to come hang out with her and her dad would say, if you wear pink in my house again, I'm going to cut that tie right off your neck. <laughs> my dad is not a pink wearing guy and Brandon owns it. He just wears pink all the time. And he's like, I used you come to, a lot to my more. door again, I'm going to cut it off your neck. He also told Brandon because he wore pink so much, he wasn't man enough to make boys. First three, three out of the gates. <laughs> Significant stop, obviously hung out a lot here at Mindy's house. A lot of fun memories here. And then you got another clue. And that clue then took us to my parents' house. Brandon's parents, you guys, we hung out here all the time. We always hung out in the basement and watched shows and yes. cuddled. We just Did loved you do to that cuddle. Whenever you're dating. When and you're, now you're dating you're like, and you're in love, and then all these like, years later, you're kind of like, the line in the bed. you have nice. your recliner, I have my recliner, <laughs> but we shared one recliner back then. And it was in the basement. We used to love watching movies here, watching TV, just hanging out, it was so talking fun. to my parents. Fun fact, we actually lived here after we got we married. We did live here before we had kids. Lived here for five months. We were waiting for our town home to be built. That's not part of this engagement story, but just a fun fact. We actually lived here for a little bit in the basement. This basement holds some serious significance in our relationship. And so this was where someone was standing with a rose to give her the following clue, which took us to... As we approach the next stop, this has been so fun recreating. This has been so fun going through the kids. And that's what I was just getting to. It has been so fun bringing the kids along. They even said at one of the stops, I can't remember where we were, they were like, I can't wait to see this. Like, I can't wait to see the whole thing all put together. We've kind of done the stops a little bit out of order. You may have noticed it's dark in some points and then light at some points. That's because we went what was easiest to do the whole thing in one night with the kids. We're approaching <laughs> our next stop right now. But guys, it has been very, very cool bringing the kids along, reliving this. And you know what? Thanks to mom's epic journal entry, Gosh. she detailed the entire thing. We weren't exactly sure. It's been 13 years. We weren't exactly sure what came after what, what clue was I to where. I every detail. Who was at each stop? Literally every detail is in her journal. So we've been using that as a guide as we go from place to place to place. This has been an incredible experience, you guys. And we are now approaching our next stop. This stop right here on this very famous little disc where people will take pictures with the temple behind them. This is a very famous spot for engagement pictures, actually. Yes. And this was significant because we knew we wanted to be sealed and married in this temple, the temple behind us that you see. Which so my, we were. Yes, we were. So my brother Justin was here waiting with the rose with the next clue. You guys. We make a lot of jokes because oh. I think she cried more here I cried so hard than she did when Justin. I actually proposed. And I think it was the significance of the location. I no, want to believe Justin that, but sure. it might have been just, you know, she had always no. wanted... Lindsay got out and helped me to park and find a place. I came up here and Justin told me that one day Brandon wanted to take his bride to the temple and she it was just, just very down. emotional. Very it magical. almost just makes me even cry now, but it was like the things that Justin said and how important it was for Brandon to have an eternal family and to do that with me, it just meant the world to me. Of all the stops, this, this was, was the, a very this was the best one. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
at the end I propose, guys. This was a significant stop. My brother's standing here with the rose with another clue, taking us off to the next destination on our engagement tour. Okay, good job. Does that look, are we too far away in that? Or does that look okay? Because I can see everything. Oh, awesome, okay. Mom would get in the car, she would put in the CD. So the CD's already in, guys. This is back when we did CDs. So I made her a mixtape CD. Epic. So she'd get back in, continue to play the next song. Now, there were a lot of stops over the entire Salt Lake Valley. So I had gone the day before with a stopwatch and I went, I drove the entire thing. I'd get physically out of my car, I'd walk to that station. So then I knew based, and I wrote it all down, and I knew how much each stop would take, how far it was, it was so in between. Cute. So then I would know how long the whole thing would take. And then I could also know in my mind about where she was. He even did it the exact same time of day so he would know what traffic patterns Traffic would patterns, be like. everything. And guys, this is like pre-GPS. I was hoping she would take similar routes that we did. This is just kind of funny. Like this is all such old school it's stuff. It's just so cute too because I can picture you driving in your old little blue Civic. Yep, and I had a, this little, like I got a dollar store or something, this little clear red stopwatch. And I just still physically remember like taking it and I'd stop and then I'd go to the next stop and I would like lap time it and I'd be like, okay, that's enough time. Okay, then if she goes here, she'll beat traffic. Okay, it anyways. Funny. Super fun. You guys, this was a place we came all the time and saw movies. This was one of our more expensive dates that we yes, went on. Yes, this was the classy, high class when it was a special occasion. Hey, sweetie, I'll take you to a movie. It's gotta be a matinee, though. Our first real date was to the Megaplex, to the movie Hitch with Will Smith. <laughs> and fun fact, we were in line being all cute and cuddly. Oh my gosh. And everyone in line was convinced that she was older than me. Yeah. And I remember that for forever because, guys, I'm quite a bit older than her. And maybe it was because of the way you act versus the way we look. Yeah, maybe it was a maturity thing. <laughs> but Megaplex, significant in our lives. This was the place that I saw both of my parents right before we went here. Which led us to here. This is the final stop on our engagement tour. And this is the saddest one for me to tell you, that the place where we got engaged, the classroom that we met in, and to get here and to see that it's no longer here. We're standing in front of a school building. This is the campus on which we went to school and where we met, but this is not the building. The classroom where we met is no longer in existence. The building was ripped down. There's some significance to this classroom and to this point in the engagement yes. tour. We met at a class at the University of Utah. Strategies for college success. There's a long story behind that that I won't bore you with, but it was her <laughs> first year in college and I had been away for two many years that they made me take it so you normally wouldn't have a 26 year old and an 18 year old meeting in this class but as luck would have it and as fate would have it we did meet in this class and so I had arranged for that night the teacher who was teaching in that class to cancel class so that I could use the classroom and we really wanted to walk in there and show it to you but I was sitting in the classroom so she came with the last row she didn't know it was the last one she just was going from stop going to stop to, to stop so she had no idea what would be in this one when she walked into the classroom I was sitting in the desk where we met mm -hmm. and I had her sit in the desk where she sat when we first met and Holding there was the the very book. I was holding this textbook. Now this textbook is significant because it was kind of funny. It was the first words we ever uttered to each other. We were in class and boy, how much of this do we want to tell? I was just like smitten by her. Like the oh, second I no, saw her. The second I saw Brandon, you guys, I was 18. I was young. I had no desire to date. I didn't want to make friends. I was like, I'm just going to go to school and go to work. And that's all I'm going to do. I met my husband that day with that <laughs> attitude. I walked in and I saw him and I was like, I'm going to marry him. <laughs> guys, it is one of those super cheesy stories, but this <laughs> is our real life and so I just didn't know how to talk to her or what to say and so the I came up with the only thing I could think of the teacher had just gone over what the textbooks were for what we'd be <laughs> using them for so I grabbed one of them and I turned to her and I said did you understand what is the supplemental text for and I said I think it supplements the text oh my gosh did I feel <laughs> stupid I had no idea what to say I just went Oh yeah, okay. And turned back away and I was like, dummy, you dummy. I'm here in the classroom with the final rows and a little something, something extra, you know, diamond <laughs> ring. I had the supplemental text and I said, this is so cheesy. This whole thing has been very cheesy, you guys, but we it were very so cheesy. cheesy. I said to her, I wanted to have you come meet me here because I think that I have the answer to the question of what the supplemental text is actually for. And I said it was to give me an excuse to turn and to talk to you and to start this relationship that is now going to become a marriage. I got down and I proposed to her. She said no and I said, <laughs> 
did let's not. try again. No, she said yes, we cried, we hugged, and this is where we got engaged. And this is where it all started, you guys, this very place. So our first day of school was January 10th, and yes. then I proposed on January 10th of the following the year. Following so one year. exact year from the day that we laid eyes on each other. I did want to tell this just because it is kind of funny. We are here at the U, and she shared that her cheesy moment that she saw me and knew she was gonna marry me. Guys, this is embarrassing. <laughs> But it actually happened. You are not going to tell us. <laughs> through <laughs> through the like course of crazy. conversation on that first day, I had learned that she took tracks to school, which is the like train commuter system here. I did not. I drove to school. But in hopes that I might catch another glimpse of her, even though I would see her in class like the next day, <laughs> in hopes that I could maybe get a little more conversation with her, I got on tracks. I got on the train and I rode it all the way to Sandy, which is the end of the line. So it's as which far away from like here as you can get. Minutes. And I would get off on every stop and get on the next train <laughs> in hoping that I would run into her but I never thought it through like what would it be like if I got on like seven stops later and I got on a train and be like oh what are you doing here that's great why are you in a different city I just wanted to see her again I wanted to see her outside of class I wanted another shot to talk to her so I rode it all the way to the end of the line never saw her got back right on drove it back here to get my car <laughs> and then got in my car and went home just one of those cheesy love stories you guys even though the building is gone and it's totally different this is still the sidewalk that we would hang out yes. after class I would walk up this way to a class actually I think you had a class that way I didn't I would just walk with you that way and we would linger and talk for much longer than we should because we just did not want to let go of those few moments that we had in class and it was a while before we asked each other out before we actually went out before he actually kissed me before <laughs> Hi, and now we get to bring these So guys, monsters. very significant to see what has transpired from that day 13 years ago where we got engaged right here on this campus. Now to see this family that surrounds us, we've got all these kids, we've got all this life together. We are now the Binghams. This is very significant, all very cool. All one simple day of two young kids going to school. <laughs> now guys, wait a minute. This is stop number 12, but this is our 13th anniversary. So I feel like we should add in a stop 13. What? One more stop. Guys, let's head home for stop 13. A little surprise for mom. We are back here at stop 13, lucky 13, only appropriate on the appropriate, only appropriate on the 13th anniversary that we have a 13th stop, I feel like. Okay. And only appropriate that that be here in our home, the result of that engagement that many years ago. 13 amazing years. 13 flawless years. It makes sense that we would come back here in our home with our family, just the full culmination representation of those 13 years for stop number 13, which mom's not aware of a stop number 13. I don't 13. know what 13. There wasn't a 13th stop on the actual There's engagement. There's not a 13th floor, so. But we, that's true, actually. Maybe this isn't a good idea. But we are going to finish up this incredible engagement video with a little anniversary gift for mom. Okay. Boys, can I get your help on this one? Yep. Okay, let's go. We're gonna bring this out in phases very quickly, very briefly. So nervous. Phase number one, come on out. Come on up in here, right guy. Any guesses, mom? Any guesses yet? A for awesome. It will be awesome. Okay. That is good. Okay. okay that's a good All right, Kruby, can you bring it out the next clue, please? I love the color, by the way. Turn it the other way. <laughs> okay. Okay, B is for best. Best. You are the best. You're Mindy's if best. The next one is then I get 100%. Brexy Doodle, come on out with the last letter. Oh my gosh! <laughs> a, B, C. Mom, can you guess? Are we going to school? No, much better. A, B, C, A, B, C. No more guesses, right, Mom? Four You're stumped? No more guesses. So you gave me a trip to New York well for in Valentine's advance Day. for Valentine's Day oh to go on an anniversary. So in return, on our anniversary, I want to give you a gift and a trip for your birthday. We are going on a cruise as a family. Is that C? No. Okay. To the Southern Caribbean ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. Shut up. <laughs> We're going to be going out We're of- going are we going or are they And we are all going as a family and we're leaving out of the port of Puerto Rico. We're going to Puerto Rico! We're <laughs> so going to Puerto Rico! Aruba, Aruba Bonaire, and Curacao. The ABC Curacao. islands of the Wait, Southern the Caribbean. Cool Curacao! And as an extra bonus stop, in addition to our two at sea days, we're going to St. Martin as well. Shut up. Yes. Ow! I love you. Happy anniversary. Oh my God. Stop number 13, we're going on a cruise, baby. Aruba, Bonaire, Bonaire Curacao, Curacao, and St. Martin. And St. Martin, and we leave out of Puerto Rico, we come back to Puerto Rico, and we're actually gonna stay an additional two days in Puerto Rico when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> now the kids oh. already knew about this, so they're not as surprised, but my what heck. do you think? You excited? It's I gonna go down. Even in July, for your birthday, your actual birthday will be our first at sea day. We will be in the middle of the Caribbean Sea for your birthday this year. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god! And they're coming? Everyone's coming, yes. You guys are coming? Are Maddie's, coming Maddie's coming too. Everybody's coming. Yeah. <laughs>
Now guys, what you may not know is this is the family's first cruise ever. Mindy and I have been on a we've cruise. Been on we've been on two, right? Yes, two. Yes, two cruises. But this is the family's first cruise ever. I got balcony rooms, ocean view rooms. I've got us three rooms so that we can just live it up. This is not until July, so I don't want to get too deep into oh it. Oh my heck. This is going to be insane. It just seemed like the perfect finish to this incredible engagement story. Oh, heck yeah, 13 stops. Happy for birthday sure. and happy I'm anniversary. I'm so excited. I love you so much. Are you guys I just think it's fitting to take the entire family. This is the work and the result of our 13 years of marriage. And so it just makes perfect sense. Plus we have all summer birthdays, so it can be everybody's birthday uh, trip. I feel like it's everybody's birthdays. <laughs> Thank you for being with us today. Oh we hope gosh. you enjoyed this special video. It's a little bit different, but also a lot amazing. It was kind of fun to do. And for us to relive and go through my journal and read all the details of, I just love him so much. It was totally amazing to go back through and to do that I with our family, with our, our kids. kids. And very cool to end it with a fun family celebration. Full blown <laughs> cruise. It's going to be incredible, you guys. Make sure you're subscribed, you guys. Make sure you smash that like button. I mean, we don't have comments. I wish so badly you guys could oh. comment and we could hear from you, but smash the like button for this one. Let's send this one through the roof. Oh my gosh. And make sure, like I said, you are subscribed because there is so much coming up. We are leaving for New York very shortly. Maddie is in town. We've got cruises coming up. We've got trips to Palm Springs coming up. Oh. We have so much We're coming up. We're doing so much this summer. You guys stay tuned. And also, if you want to comment, leave notes for us. Go on over to our Instagram at This Is How We Begin. Leave comments there for us. We'd love to hear what you guys have to tell us. We love you so much. Thank you for being a part of our lives every day. Thank you for being a part of our journey these last few years. Thank you. And we will see you again tomorrow. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.